Lee Ufan is from South Korea, but he's actually established in Japan, and he was born in 1939, so he's probably way over 80 years old now. And his style is minimalist, like you can see here, just one single brush stroke, starting with ink at the beginning and, and having less and less on it. And he makes like only 25 artworks a year, apparently it takes him like 25 days to make one although they look like you could make them in five hours and uh, he is kind of against the admiration that japan has for the western society and you know on the europeanization of uh, japan but apparently people consider this as art and so he has a very huge building dedicated to himself on this Naoshima island and uh, I can show you the pictures from there but basically yeah he's using such huge brushes see and then just like one color you know we made it to the Li Ufan museum not many artworks but very interesting modern art here in front The Ufan Museum is basically lots of concrete like this and lots of very modern art, just a brush stripe and it becomes art. <laughs> Big difference to Monet if you ask me. But yeah, mission accomplished. The Ufan Museum done. Okay, so we made it to the Ando Museum. You will see how many people are waiting. You can see everywhere people are lining up in huge queues. See, it goes all the way out here. And the cool thing about the Ando, Mr. Ando's project here is, you know, from the outside it's a Japanese old house, but inside it's concrete and looks very futuristic. You know, like another civilization, like you, what you would see in a science fiction movie. So this combination of futuristic but still having the traditional... So let me show you again. See, from the outside is just this Japanese house. And they just changed inside. Amazing product. I suppose this is his house. This is his house. So this is how the Chichu Art Museum looks. It, so this is the Monet space. The Walter de Maria space, James Turrell. Triangular courtyard. Naoshima is the island with the most artworks and especially during this triennale they are getting even more. However, there are not as many as I expected. And um, Naoshima has these three uh, points of interest. So this is the Miyanora port where you are entering the island. And just here is the uh, Naoshima bathhouse. A really crazy uh, architecture designed by the Japanese design uh, architect. Then from here we can continue to Honmura port. It's another port uh, of this island. 
And here there are, as you can see, many art house projects. So old Japanese houses were changed into cool looking stuff. Especially this Ando Museum. It's like a, I don't know, futuristic science fiction film inside, but outside it's a Japanese house. And then here, this part um, has you know the classic three big museums the Vanessa House Museum, the Lee Ufan Museum, and the Chicho Art Museum. Um, that is also the most expensive one. So, if you have a bicycle, you can move from area to area kind of easy. Otherwise, they have many shuttle buses. Um, you can see here, see there, there is a bus schedule and um, free buses and even the buses that are not free is just like one dollar uh, hopefully the weather will be nice and um, to enjoy the nature there is beach 